Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication. Hello, my name is Faisal Khan, CEO and founder of VoiceBootcamp.com. In this series of do-it-yourself self-study kit for Cisco UCCE troubleshooting standard kit, I'm going to talk about how to customize real-time Cisco real-time monitoring tool or RTMT to troubleshoot UCCE. Now, as you guys probably most know that RTMT is mostly used for um, troubleshooting call manager but uh, very few people actually knows that it can add other nodes and start monitoring and uh, troubleshooting that so the goal of this particular chapter is to focus on how to customize uh, rtmt to focus on ucc troubleshooting now this is our rtmt tool and as you notice uh, very familiar to same as a call manager um, so you will go to the analyze manager right here on the tab or you can go to the uh, analyze manager menu whichever works for you and on the left hand side you click on the nodes the nodes is where you list all your uh, ECC platform now I've already included one and I'm going to add a second one so it's from the drop-down menu you're going to define UCCE node and you're going to assign the IP address of your uh, subsequent uh, servers. So in this case, I'm uh, putting the site B. Make sure the username is Windows username, administrator, or whatever the privilege user account that you want to use. Now I have created an associated group. That means all the UCCE server will be under the UCCE group. But you can create a group for UCCX or uh, UCC, uh, sorry, PG, uh, uh, call manager, CVP, you name it. So as you can see, I got two of these nodes. I will go ahead and add other node as well. So this one is going to be my PG. PGA Now, as you add these nodes, you can select and then click on test connectivity. And if everything is configured or running on the back end, it should be successfully tested. Or at least the connectivity should be successful. As you can see, the connect connection was successful. So you want to do that for every server that you add. So, okay, so there is a problem with uh, PG1 a or pg uh, a server so we will double check that in a minute so i'm going to go and add uh, try the site b or pgb so pgb node is also not reachable no problem uh, i will go ahead and add uh, three more servers before i go and troubleshoot those two problem okay so the next server will be my admin server so in this case 53 pod 1 and username and password so this is my admin so aw hds and pg3 and then last uh sorry second last we're going to add the cvp as well 6553 same thing same username and password And now I will add the two CVP server. CVP, CVP server, I believe you have to put WSM admin and the password.
Okay, and the last server, which is site B CVP. Again, it may not, uh, the username password may not be correct, but I will double check that. WSM admin and the password. Okay, so now that our all the nodes has been added, so we realized that there was a problem with PG, uh, well, pretty much all the servers. So we will go ahead and tr start troubleshooting those test connectivity. Okay, so this is my PGB. So what I'm going to do is, under the services, I need to make sure that ICM diagnostic service is running because that is required for the node uh, to successfully connect us. So as you can see from here, that my framework diagnostic is not running. So I'll go ahead and activate that. Okay, so now if you go back here and select the 55, for example, click on test connectivity and let's see what happened. Okay, so this is a good sign. When you are uh, getting a certificate error, that means the server certificate was not trusted, which is okay, you can accept it, uh, but that's an indication that it is communicating with the server. Okay, successful. Now, once each and one of these has been added, so I'm going to try the CVP just for trying out since I'm here. Okay, CVP is also working fine. <laughs> now, this is very useful, especially when you are remotely logging in. So yeah, CVP successful was correct. Uh, completed successfully uh, once the nodes has been added your next step is to your next step is to go to trace template and add a trace so so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a new trace so from my UCCE and then I can choose what temp what you know traces I want so let's say I want to create a trace template for all a router process RTR process. So what I'll do, I will select that and look for router RTR. Okay, collect traces for that RTR only. So collect RTR router RTR process trace rather. Okay, so I have created one trace collection. I can click on save. Invalid okay, no space I believe. In the name <coughs> so now I have a template created I can create another template for example I want to collect CVP and what I want to do here is CVP let's say I don't know SIP related messages so I want to collect CVP SIP trace okay now, once that is uh, configured, you will go and say collect traces now. And it's going to ask me, okay, from which node? And you can select the template. I want to collect RTR. I want to collect from yesterday till today, let's say. And you click on or you can go by node. So let's say I want to collect from the site A for now. Okay, so let's collect that. It's going to go and pull information from the server. Okay, and you click OK. Can I be Okay, no component has been selected. So it has been, I believe, successful. So now it is stored into this folder right here. See that folder right there? 
Cisco user Afcon RTMT. So I can go to Cisco users and Afcon choose Cisco RTMT trace collection and of course I look at the date so let's say today is 22nd December this is the server we collected from and this is the RTR so if I uh, unzip this and you will see that their EMS log file and now I am able to analyze my logs okay a very powerful uh, way to troubleshoot and collect traces and then you can analyze what's going on and we will learn how to analyze this trace file later in this particular self-study kit all right so hopefully this will give you an idea how to use our tmt to prepare troubleshooting or prepare your environment for troubleshooting and collecting traces for your environment so just to show you one more uh, before we ch jump on to the next chapter is how to collect traces for cvp Now, while you're doing this for UCC, you can also use this RTMT at the same time for your call manager. All right, so I'm going to collect the SIP trace from yesterday till today and then click OK. Again, it's going to collect the information from the server, import it into your local hard drive, and then have it available to you for offline viewing. OK, so successfully done. We can go to the same folder. Okay. All right, Fcon, Cisco, RTMT, Trace. Now, of course, it gives you a little bit more. So we're going to look at the most up-to-date one. This is 39. And it's from the server 52, which is my CVP logs. And you'll see the same log that is also available on the CVP server. So instead of logging into each server individually, you can use this tool from your laptop to collect traces from all the devices that you have, as opposed to individually go to each devices uh, and log in and check the logs. This is useful, of course, if you're remote and you do not want to give users direct access to those servers. So if I want to open this log file, it tells me any error that I might have. And then I will take the necessary action and troubleshoot it. All right, so that's it for this particular video. Hopefully you found it useful. I will see you in the next.